Hey everybody. So here we have a clean install of Windows 11 on this system right here. And of course I should mention that this computer has an upgraded motherboard in it and CPU and memory all that good stuff. It's not the original specs that are on the sticker here. But this thing had Windows 10 and it was previously activated using the Windows 7 license. Now when I switched over to Windows 11 it um, it lost the activation pairing. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to activate Windows 11 using a Windows 7 license. What we're going to do is we're going to enter this Windows 7 product key and I'm going to show you we are indeed dealing with a Windows 7 key. I can't show you the actual key but that's sort of a look at the COA. Now, of course, I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're not supposed to use a, uh, an OEM COA license on different hardware, blah, 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 blah. What we'll do is um, we're going to actually enter in the 107 product key here. So I'm going to hit change on change product key. And I'm going to type in the key. Now we're going to click next. All right, we're going to get the prompt to activate. And you can see Windows is activated. So it appears that yes, you can actually activate Windows 11 with a Windows 7 key. Interesting to know. So anyways, that wraps up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QCurrent channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QCurrent Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.